I really hope you can hear music right now. Otherwise, that would be some real awkward dancing. It's, you know what? You know what? It's still awkward dancing. It still is awkward. I gotta admit. Just making sure it's playing. Making sure, making sure we're on the air. Hey guys, can can you hear the same music I'm I'm listening to? I'm bopping to my awkward dancing. Having a good old time. Welcome guys. Welcome to the to the studio. I suppose you can call it. Your favorite blue haired girl is uh, beaming straight to you. And also kind of like flicking you off. So this is our project tonight. Um, I started this already, as you've seen. So this is going to be kind of a treat where instead of seeing the <laughs> the rough start in the muddy middle, you're going to get to see the, the very finished. Hi, William. Thank you. It's the Jazz Paul. Thank you for coming. Everybody, please say hi in the chat. And I will say hi back to you. I love seeing you guys here. I'm very excited to, you know, have some friends. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always excited to paint with you guys. If you are, wow, wow. This is, um, so like always I painted with my, my glorious and jealous leather paints, my fabric paints. And it's so leathery. I, there are quite a lot of, uh, coats on here. Quite a lot of coats. Maybe I should, I, I did take a lot of selfies with this, with this crude middle finger. Should probably post one on Insta, maybe. You guys, I'm somebody that doesn't end up watching a whole lot of famous movies, but I've watched a couple, I've watched a couple this week and I'm probably bound to watch a couple more. So anybody ever see RRR? my friends were super into it to the degree where they um they figured out the dance or at least i was gonna say part of it but honestly they they knew quite a lot of it and and uh <laughs> performed it on the dance floor at my friend peter's wedding it was quite a gas it was very fun um let's paint something Sassy. Can't not. I'm here for it, are you? Now, obviously, like, the jig is up. You know exactly what we're painting. Um, we're not going to, like, guess around or anything like this. This is the painting. But I am so excited. Actually, I think that, I think that you could help me and kind of dressing up this hand you know i was thinking like are we gonna put some rings on it maybe some tats i don't have any so maybe that maybe it will be a little bit i don't know more should it be me should it be uh, an elevated version of me we're going to do some things so tell me about the coolest movie you guys have seen in a little while um and maybe i'll watch it maybe i'll actually watch it for freaking once you know, I was thinking about this because I feel like I feel like I come off as a real um, which uh, asshole when I keep keep saying that I'm the actress that doesn't watch movies and to to everybody that watches that that is that works on movies they usually love movies and I'm at a place right now where well one I just don't have the attention span it's that that's kind of the the where it starts that I just, I just can't, I just can't commit to that, to sitting still for so long. It's like, you know, you know, those dogs, those dogs that have to be working, they're work dogs or else they'll like, I don't know, die or become obese. I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm like that. I have to keep doing something. I have to be doing something. I know it's not very relatable to anybody, but it's kind of what I, where I am right now. But the thing is about that, saying all of that and, and outing myself as, um, you know, the, the ignorant asshole who never watches any movies. When I do finally watch a movie, I'm like, 
so pleasantly surprised. I'm like, wow, I was like really entertained by that. Who knew? A movie. A movie could be entertaining. Not me. But yeah, RRR, oh my God, what a freaking masterpiece of cinema. If you're not familiar, it's the most expensive Indian movie ever made. And it was nonstop action, nonstop action. What, what was some, something was that was funny about it. <laughs> Matt Napo, I'm a dog. <laughs> That's I can I I can understand that, Matt. Um, I Val says I was going to see Avatar in theaters, but realized it's over three hours long. It was like never mind. RRR was actually three hours as well. I had to split it up over two nights. I'm um, watching with my director and friend. Um, but, uh, it, it, it was worth it. I could, I could do it for at least that long, uh, split up over two nights. Um, it's like, I could sit somewhere for hours, but I have to be like interacting with something. There's, there's some kind of problem there. I know. Um, like to you guys, like if, if you see a movie that's over, that's like over three hours or, or something like that, like. Even if it's a gigantic blockbuster, are, do you commit yourself to it? Are you are you there for it, or are you like I'm going to skip out? Like, what is what? Tell me this. That's this is a good question. Um, what is what's the what's one of the longer movies you've you've sat through? Be it not worth it or totally worth it. Like Titanic is the only thing that comes to mind for me. That's so stupid. Cute. Cute. Okay. Hey, Luke. Welcome to the party. All right. So I think I'm just going to get a little started. So we're going to, we're going to do, oh, it's going to be upside down. Hmm. I'm going to be, I'll, I'll be turning it around during, during the course. Actually, I could probably do it upside down to be quite honest with you because yeah, we'll do something here. So, um, so basically I want to do, Okay, Val says, most recent movies I, I watched was The Ballad of Buster Scruggs. Would only recommend if you're in the mood for some sads, which I am never. <laughs> okay. Now, what do you think? Okay, so something about this, I, I think that I, I, I extended this. I actually do have a picture that I was referencing of my friend. Um, my, my friend, Ed, she was over and... And uh, I said, hey, give me the middle finger. And so I took a picture of her middle finger. And that is what I am. What I'm referencing. Oh, but which one? Yeah, I think we got to we got to take this in a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic. Like that's a pretty meaty hand, don't you think? I think so. So let's just refine this for a second. Thank you guys for coming, by the way. Thank you for hanging out with me. I know we barely started, but like, I'm so grateful when you're here. I kept thinking like, I have to, I have to like go over this this little, this little zipper part here, but no, I don't. Why? Why was I making myself do that? I don't know. I, and, and the thing about this is this isn't even the half of it. It, it is actually exactly half of it. So this has an other side, of course. Um, I haven't like a much arguably better side. For some reason, I picked this side to start on. I think I picked this side because I thought that it would be more slim and I wouldn't have to go over the zipper so much. And I definitely didn't, but I, but I did anyways. Yeah. That's so meaty. It's like, what's going on? I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. It's the part of it. That's just a little off here. here that's looking like it's making more sense. But after we kind of figure this out, we're going to go in with some cool shadows and shading and everything. Do you think this hand, this, you know, floating middle finger hand should have tats or, or rings? Or what do you think we should de decorate this thing with? I'm thinking one or the other at the very least. Oh, that's very, 
that's very um satisfying I love how like whenever I I would start streaming like when I when I first started streaming I would prepare like hours in advance and um and just like get everything set up and these days I was like okay 60 seconds I think I could go run downstairs and get a cup of coffee yeah let's go I love it I love it it's just it's just so casual like I barely clean my room anymore guys I know because you guys just feel so much like family <laughs> I don't need to clean my room especially from this angle maybe it's just because it's like it's from no it still looks pretty needy why hmm little off but oh I'm seeing I'm seeing okay it's like I get it I get something now you really don't see like this thumb real oops sorry soft clothes this thumb really does wrap around you really don't see much of this at all here you really are just seeing the side kind of I should I really should be looking at the photo reference yeah, that's looking a lot. We still need to take this in, but this is looking a lot more. Makes sense. And now these little like dribbles are gonna like be splaying out. <laughs> This is it. I picked up the right brush for this shit. It's like a nice, lovely straight line. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, listen to that crooning. Oh, how lovely. Okay, what do we got here? Mommy's little Dagan. Dagan. So hot. Well, thank you. Whatever you're referencing, I guess. Um, yeah, and we got, yeah, Ed. Her name, so her name is spelled E R I K A, but in Lithuanian pronunciation, it's pronounced Etika, which I think is like like a rolled R, like a tongue tap, which I love. And so we call her Ed. She's beautiful. She's she's so talented. Oh my god, Val. Okay, Val says rings for sure and maybe ripped fishnet gloves. Oh my god, that's gonna have to happen. Faux show. Faux show. Faux show. Oh, I'm really digging it. Like, I'm really, it's coming together. I mean, <laughs> we barely started. We're like, oh, like eight minutes in, it's coming together. Just slimming it out. Sandy Small says, I love it. Thank you so much, Sandy. Thank you for being here. Mark in May vlog says, like done. Like done. We're not even close to being done. Unless you mean like you've liked my video and you're saying that you've done that. Skull ring face heart. Oh, skull ring. <laughs> face heart. Thank you, Daniela. Yeah, I'm 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 digging the shape. Like I think we're practically there. I think we can start kind of adding in some shadows. So I'm gonna look at my reference here. I guess I'll hold my I can hold my reference upside down. That's all I need to do, really. Let me figure out which one of Ed. It was. Okay. 
I think this is the one we're going to be referencing tonight. Isn't she beautiful? Okay. I uh, So I don't think, I think that the fingers, like actually this is looking really similar now. I'll, I think I might have slimmed it in too much there. A little bit. Maybe I can, okay, wait, I think I can fix it. I can fix it by not even, I think we can do this. I think that'll do it. But also I think I've kind of drawn, I don't know if fingers can really do that. Well, maybe it's an up angle. Yeah, let's just, let's roll with it. <laughs> let's, let's roll with it here. Why, I don't know why I did this. Her hand is so slim and I'm just like, let's cut it off and just totally. Yeah, I dig. I dig. Okay, let's move into some color right now. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to take my pinks, I think. My pinks, I thinks. And I like this is I mean, crooked, I guess. I don't know what was going on there. Like her her hand is perfectly perfectly um okay, I got to guess it. I guess I got to turn my delay off. Screen. Okay, let's go into screen time. I'm so glad that I didn't send any of this up. Great, great, great. Okay. Brightness, vivid, fun. The screen zoom, full screen, blah, blah, blah. Screen time out. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's go in with some pinks. Some pinks to kind of shape this out like we want it. And then the shadows, I think I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but they're not gonna be pink. We're gonna have a pretty dynamic looking looking thing here look looking design we're not just gonna go with just one color here that is boring i do want to solidify this first solidify this shape <laughs> I'm I'm so glad that I forgot the thing that I forget every single time. Can you guys guess what it is? There's one thing that I almost always forget to bring to the party. Like I get all my supplies out and I feel like I'm so ready. And then I'm I get into my painting and I'm like, God damn it. God damn it. If one of you guesses, you uh I don't know. You get a cyber hug for me. Beautiful. go get the mystery object right now. A 
it's paper towels. It's always paper towels. I can never, can never remember that. It's criminal. looking like a finger. That's great. That's great news. I've had quite a week, week this week, guys. Weekend, I guess. Um, actually, Ed and I, oh my gosh. We went, she's, she's amazing. She, um, there's like, there's just like, for some reason, just a bunch of gold on this, on this tip. It just looks fabulous, I guess. Um, she invited me out to a friend's uh, birthday party and um, went and she showed me like the conversation between her and our other friend, Jen, uh, about what, what they were planning on doing. And I, and I see a word very briefly. I'm like, wait a minute. It's a medieval theme party where we're dressing up in, you know, in medieval costumes. And she goes, Oh no, we were actually talking about something else or we were joking, but um, let's totally do that. So, <laughs> so I literally, I'll show you a picture of my outfit. Um, we literally uh, went to a, 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 a non-costume party in, in costumes, in costumes. It was such, it was such a fabulous night. It was so fun. Um, I feel like I was just... I was being the best version of myself. Like, of course, I would freaking go to a, a party wearing a costume, even though it wasn't a costume party. That knuckle's a little too high up, is it? Cute. But I'll show you these pictures. Let's see. Let's pick a good one. I I, I meant to post these eventually. Uh, but here we go. So I decided to go as like a Raven Queen because I have these uh, this feather jacket. You see these feathers over here? I'll put it on for you guys. <laughs> oh my god! Oh yes. <laughs> oh darling <laughs> so um i wore this i wore this uh to my fate my first um my first art showing at all ever in pittsburgh and i had seen one of the characters on hbo's girls um was wearing something similar to this i think she had more of like it was if I'm not mistaken, it was like feathers that were like kind of going straight up. Maybe I'm remembering that wrong, but I'm like, well, this is, this is fine. And so I think it was the night before my, my show, my mom was literally hot gluing these feathers to, to this jacket. So she, she made this jacket. I, I had the vision, vision she executed and she executed it so perfectly. It's, it's been amazing since it's been, a, it's been a gas darling. It's been a gas. Here's the outfit of tonight when you dig. I mean, it's, it's always flowers. We always have to have flowers, don't we? Like flowers everywhere.
Oh, sorry. <laughs> like painting without you guys seeing. There we go. Let's go back to Ed's finger. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking and I don't really see much detail in the other fingers. You don't see knuckles because they're all smoothed out because they're bent over kind of. And so, hmm, I don't know what to do to add kind of like, I mean, would you even really see, Messing things up. <sighs> hmm. I'm literally, again, like all of these live streams, I'm using the monitor as my my beacon, my guide, which is so fun and, and very, very unique in that way. And I also don't know if I'm going to keep that red nail. What do you guys think? This it's circle time says incredible. Thank you. It's circle time. Thank you for joining. Um, oh, Jess always has the best outfits. Oh my gosh. And Val says fabulous. Thank you so much, guys. You guys are so sweet. Attica. Attica. This was so fun doing the. Yes, Etika was the only person that really saw the initial. We're we're looking at your picture. I, I'm at least looking at your picture right now. Uh, thank you so much, darling. Thank you for coming to the party both times. I was just actually talking about our our costume party that we made a costume party, um, which was so fabulous. I just showed you my. I, I just showed them my uh my feather my feather jacket, which I love so much. So I think I'm going to start putting some shadows in now and some shadows, some of the shadows that I was, uh, tag at Denny's was, <laughs> was the highlight for sure. Oh my gosh. That's right. Oh my God. I forgot about, I forgot about that detail. Yeah. It was honestly the, the most perfect like outing. It, it was like a couple hours at the party and we went and we ate at Denny's. Oh my God. I had, Ed, I had like that sandwich that I had was out of this world. It was, it was so, so delicious. Um, I didn't, I don't know if you, uh, I don't, I don't know if, um, you knew how delicious I ate the whole thing. I was like, I'm going to scarf this down. So we're going to add, I just dropped this paint onto my reading my text as well as talking. Um, I'm going to paint these shadows. Maybe we'll like even go into kind of a, we'll see here. We'll, we'll see what we're doing. We're just going to kind of play a little bit. You're like, mm, I think you ruined that. And I'm like, mm, maybe you're right. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, so basically we went to Denny's, had an amazing uh, l late night dinner. We closed the place down and then we played tag in the parking lot like a bunch of 20 to 30 some year olds. Like, what are we doing? Who are we? We are children of the night. That's who we are. 
Does blue tool commonly used to create shadows on skin? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's not. <laughs> Actually, I think I think a more common uh, paint that you would use for like a a shadow on somebody would be purple. But I'm going pretty pop art right now. I'm going pretty pretty fun with it. I mean, technically you could. I'm sure you could do anything you wanted, um, make it work. But I want some real dynamic uh, dynamic structures here. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens here. Just as the song says, I do my own thing. <laughs> I go my own way. <laughs> That's just perfect. I wonder if I can even blend this pink into it after a while, like like actually make it jive with each other. I bet I can, I bet I can. All right, okay, let's get back. No, excuse me. Just come as you are and stay. I don't know, I think this is looking pretty dope. It's not correct, but sometimes art's not. I know I want to use these two colors, I just have to make them work. That's what I'm kind of like, that's what I'm doing right now. Oh, I kind I don't know. It look yeah, it, it's like it's like there's something quite wrong about it, but I really am digging it. Like I'm going to make this work. Okay. Now if I look true to form, what you really see here, you don't really see knuckle cuz it's really quite smoothed out whenever somebody clenches their fist like that. So really you just see these kinds of tendrils, these bones that are coming through. Let's see. This is the real like you're kind of looking at it at a down angle it's oh i, I kind of dig it like it's really it's quite um oh i think it's gonna be cool guys i think it's gonna be really cool let's add some weight to this to to add some some balance and to create some come on can you just stay where i want to go please no, let's put it right here. There we go. That works so much better. Also, 
just kind of making up stuff. Just making up details and seeing what I like. This will go one way or the other. I'm, I'm, I'm like just experimenting at this point. One thing I've always found about when you do this, um, when you add these uh, these paints to something, it makes it makes the structure so much stronger of whatever you're doing because you're just adding another layer of plastic on it. What the inside looks like, couldn't tell ya, couldn't tell ya. like a little monstrous at the same time like it's not not quite making sense to me yet Maybe a zombie hand. Yeah, it's looking it's looking a little bit monster like, like monster high, pink and green. I think. It's uh yeah. I'm just I'm just kind of playing around right now. I'm not even high. <laughs> but I did want it to be quite pop art, so we'll see what, what we come up with here. Because really, if we look at the reference the entire thing, the entire lower portion should be green. If I was going to make like the shadows green, but I don't want to do that. I really want to mix up the colors. We're doing zombie, we're doing monster, we're doing pop art. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Hmm. Green. Do I do I want to keep the green? I feel like if I wanted it to make sense, I got to do the whole bottom green. I don't want to do that. I was I was going for purple before, and perhaps this is too green. I was maybe going for more of a blue. But, but what do I want to do? What do I want to do from here? easy to freaking paint over apparently hmm. It, it, it is looking more dynamic than when we started, but I'm trying to decide. <laughs> Let's try purple. Let's just like try it out, see what it looks like. I think it might be more of a match. And maybe maybe the other side will do a blue and green hand. That would make that might make more sense. We get to that tonight. I, I also uh, I have a, a custom a custom piece that I also was thinking of finishing on the stream tonight, which is very cute to look at. It's so cute. Let's just kind of let's see what we got here. I'm not afraid. 
I'm not afraid to go in on this one. I'm just like, let's play. Let's see what we come up with. This will be much easier to blend if I if I wanted to do that. Yeah, I think this will go better. Maybe we'll use a little bit of the green as like some some accents, but I think I can blend this a little bit better. Oh damn it. And then we'll start putting some rings on once we finally get this uh, in a place where we like it. some green in there. I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to kind of blend this in here. You guys don't even get to see my, usually get to see my, my uh, palette over here. The green compliments it well. Thanks, Robert. Oh, thanks, Robert Pate. That's nice to see you. Halfway Famous Productions. That looks dope. It's Ryan, by the way. Hey, guys, look at everybody in the freaking house. Thank you for coming. You like all the all faded to a liquid goo? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. I really appreciate I really appreciate all, all, all of the comments.
Just a mess of gore. What is it? Did they get their hand ripped off? Is it like an ethereal ghost hand? Oh my god, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. What's the story behind this hand? Was it lobbed off as it was giving somebody the middle finger? Yeah, I want some like real drama here. I think the purple was the way to go. I need to figure out. We're gonna we're gonna add a lot of stuff to this. We're gonna add some rings. We're gonna add some fishnets, maybe. I wonder how the fishnets would play with the drippy drops. Yeah, boy. I keep getting my luggage searched by TSA. <laughs> And that never happened before, but now that I've, I've painted more on it, um, everybody wants to see what's inside, I guess. And they are usually, they have to be surprised. And I know that TSA is looking at it because they, they tell me, they put, I don't know if you've ever had this done to you, but um, they'll put a little note inside <laughs> to say that you've been surged. I got all, I don't know if you're still here, Val, but um, they stole all my keychains, all of them. All of them. I was so disappointed. Like, I I was, like, ready to, to, like, lob a complaint. I was so... I was just distraught. Because I had started collecting keychains. And then all of a sudden, TSA is like, Nope, we want them, bitch. Your keychains are ours. Obviously, they took them because they don't want it. I don't know. Catching other people's luggage and such. I assume. I only assume. But... Girl, I lost. I lost all my keychains. I lost the one from Portland. Uh, I also had picked up one in, in Seattle. Uh, it's sad. Don't put keychains on your freaking luggage. Or TSA will look in it. And what's so hilarious is that um, my luggage is often filled with fake food and uh just random random ass things and so they got they got an eyeful smaller. I don't want to do that. Okay, we'll, we'll fix that later. We'll, we'll mess with that some more. I want to get this base really good, and then we're going to add some uh, rings. So first we already saw, let me see here, a skull a skull ring, which we're to totally going to do. And I guess we can put some rings up here. Um, I wonder how, hmm, look, I, I guess I'll go, what's up? Do I, do I own rings? Oh my God, I don't think I own any rings. I know that sounds, wait, no, that can't be true. I know that sounds weird, but I just don't wear jewelry. Um, I don't know what it is. I just, okay, I'm just gonna have to put something on my finger. These are literally earrings, but. Oh, 
Oh, that works. All right. So they're like, so they sit right above, okay. Right above this, this is, this would be fun to capture. It depends on like what lighting you're looking in, huh? Hmm. No, that makes sense. Yeah, I should make a harder delineation of where the, uh, the knuckles hit the road here. I mean, it is in the picture. I'm just, for some reason, I'm like, nope. Because I guess I want to blend blend these colors really well. That's what I'm trying to do. But I'm, I'm just making shit up. have a lot of layers on it. texted me. Oh, oh, there's, that's where everybody came from. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Thanks, Ed. Oh, that's sweet. Like it. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Cool. Oh, yeah. That's how it should be. Okay, 
this is where we get a smaller brush. If we haven't learned our lesson. Let's just kind of use the rest of the paint here. Let's start adding some rings here. I think it's about time. So let's let's go in. Let's go in with a skull. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna do that upside down. So we gotta find one. Let's see what we find. Oh my gosh, people making some pretty cool skull rings here. Dang, look at this, look at these guys. Oh my gosh, that's a really good reference. This is, this is really showing us a lot of what we're going to need. <laughs> Wood skull though, I like, I like this guy. We're gonna do that. We're gonna use it. Just screaming at us, right? Oh, that's gonna be dope. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What color should I go in? Should I go with more? No, not more purple. Hmm. I do have literally silver paint. I have silver paint. Oh my gosh. We're doing that. Fun time. Okay. But first, I want to put. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put down some palette. I'm gonna put down some silver, and then we're gonna mix a little black in there. Let me just dot where I think the eye, the first eye would go. All right. Let's start. Let's make a start.
interesting i wonder if it will turn out better or worse since i'm doing this upside down like i wonder if i'll be able to capture oh well, i can see the monitor i've been looking at it too much like i feel like i i would be able to capture the details not as i am perceiving them but as they exactly are because i'm not focusing on what i expect just the pieces that are really there does that make sense to anyone Oh, that's looking pretty rad so far, I gotta say. This is gonna be cool. Smiley. He's screaming in peril, but he's he's having a good time. It's like BDSM.
<laughs> it's pretty tight. Oh my god. That is pretty pretty darn sweet if I do see so myself. Do you want to start silvering it up? Let's see here. Man, I wonder if I can add white highlights on actual silver paint. I wonder what that would look like. Be quite interesting. This silver is really vibrant, by the way. It is a very, very great silver. I use it on a lot in Jealous. Leather paints. Silver. It's just called silver, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Going so international with today's uh, soundtrack. I'm loving it. I'm hearing things I've never heard before. I can't wait to I can't wait to find this out if you can add white highlights. Like why not? It is still two dimensional. I was thinking of questions to ask you guys, and I, I just thought of the, the most morbid one. <laughs> what do you want to be buried in? <laughs> like, what do you want to be wearing when you're buried? I know that's really weird to think about, but I think about my funeral, um, I guess, often enough. Um, <laughs> it's so dark. But, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, like, looking at this ring and, and imagining, like, somebody somebody in the casket, you know, go into the grave with this kind of thing. Maybe because it's also deadly as well. Like, you know, it's this freaking skull. But I think I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, I have to be buried in my, my studded jacket. It's, it's, it literally screams me. It's everything that I am. Have you ever thought about what you're going to be buried in? <laughs> Comment. Robert says, I have to go, but it looks solid where that's now. Can't wait to see. Oh, you'll see it. I'll be stopped at the airport and they'll be arresting me for being too cool. Being too cool. It's a crime sometimes. But yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for everybody's, everybody that's coming. Checking it out. Checking out, seeing what's at stake, what we're doing over here. We're always painting on something.
Oh, I love it. has no teeth but these are his teeth actually I, maybe i didn't make them long enough oh i gotta add my little white highlights i've been talking about so much anyways let's see that oh that made a difference All right, let's see here, a little experiment. Where are the brightest highlights, like right here? Oh yeah, that works. super dope all right let's draw the band oh wait look, that that's what's missing i'm like why something looks really weird and it's because we don't have any shadows of it hitting the inside like where, where it hits the inside of and we're going to use our purple Right behind here. 
Bury me in my kilt with a potato in one hand and a shot of whiskey in the other. Wow. That is such a great, just, you know, speaking to your ancestors way to go out. Um, really going out with your, your heritage and your, your lifeblood. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Dope. Dope. Something's not right about the I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it. Oh, did I just do that? Excuse me. Daniela, that looks dope. Thank you. I really honestly like the skull became my favorite part of it, I think, so far. That's really quite cool. Really quite cool. Yeah. All right. Let's add a couple other rings so that's it's not lonely. Just maybe some bands here or there. Hmm. Or maybe like a snack. That maybe won't be too hard. I do have gold too that I don't I don't do anything with. Is it tacky to mix gold and silver? This looks like nothing right now because the, the silver is just shining off of shining the light. Reflecting the light.
Nah, everything goes. Silver and gold look good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add some 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 goldies here because we need some variation, don't we? I'm completely making up this snake ring here. Don't have a reference, don't have anything. thing, isn't it? Hello. Let's get that purple shadow back in there, shall we? One thing that I realized when I uh, when I just picked this up to take pictures of it is that it uh, smells like cigarette smoke because it's been in my mother's house. So that will be my little reminder of her. That scarring things, girl. It's kind of dope. It's kind of dope. I'm wondering how I can do fishnets with also these drippy drops. I wonder if it will really work. Hmm. Why not? It's our fantasy, right? I also want to work on the nail. I think I'll just keep it classic red, but I want to finish it off. Who knows? Maybe I'll never be finished with this, right? Let's find um, some fishnet hands. Fishnet sleeve. Yes. This was specifically what I was hoping for. You see that? Oh, excuse me. Where it uh, wraps around the ring finger. I think that that, yeah, that's gonna be our, our deal here.
Oh, this is gonna be therapeutic, I think. This is, oh, this is so perfect too. This is from Hot Topic. <laughs> the diamonds kind of I, I i would think i thought that they would like be parallel with the the rim like the hem of the sleeve but it's actually not kind of radiates out i think we can accomplish this let's let's try like goes all the way straight down i don't this might look like a mess but i think it'll be pretty dope It is very confusing. Hmm. Let's try and follow just one line, but it's a little bit tough. We're gonna do we're gonna do whatever. It'll be grungy. <laughs> For sure. Oh, I added water to it and now it's very thick and inky. Very punk rock. Yes, it'll be very punk rock.
Coffee break. Dude, I kind of love that because it just kind of unravels at our at our little icky parts. Oh, that's great. So punk rock. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I like it. Okay, let's do. Oh, we gotta do like the thumbnail. Okay, one thing that I'm also seeing is. I really brought in the pinky on that side, and now it's making the ring finger look, which, by the way, does not have a ring on it. Interesting. Um, but I think I want to, like, split that difference there. Something that's really bothering me. Okay. And how do we do this? Let's say... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Sometimes I just do not know where I'm looking. Okay. Yeah. gosh i i'm really starting to actually like this now I'm, that's great like i really it's really come together in my eyes Guys, what is the coolest thing that you, you've created recently? It can be anything. It can be it could be literally a good dinner that you made. It could, something that you made. It could be something really cool that you did at work. It could be um, something you did for school or on your own, just like as a hobby. Like, tell me, because I'm over here creating all the time. So I want to hear in those comments what you're really excited about. Yeah, boy. I really, I really neglected this snake. I kind of just left it. I just was like, that's good enough. Thank you. 
Fuck a dope. Okay, what else do I say? Oh, I want to do the nail. Yes. Let's give it a nice, glossy, shiny red nail, I guess. Keep it classic. That one's it's just a little bit undone. And then I think after this, what time is it? Okay, we're going on. I think we're going to just spend a little bit more time with some fake food. I'd love to show you something that I'm making. It's very cute. And uh, we're going to we're going to glue some pieces on. Nice little manicure. Coffin shape, my favorite. God, how cliche. Oh, really? Your favorite style is coffin shape. Ah, oh, getting out of the lines. I'm a bad manicurist. I don't know if you can hear that, but somebody just added the weather signal into this song, and that is just so dope. Okay, now. not as cool as I thought it would be. missing something here. What is it? I'm just just doing this on my own. That doesn't look right. I'm gonna type in glossy nails. Mm. I guess this is what I'm going for. You have to, I, I obviously have to take in cons into consideration the curvature of the nail. I'm treating it like a flat object, which it is not. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. I think I can kind of easily fix that maybe. Thank you. 
okay. That's all right, I guess. <laughs> I like it. It's very me. Etika says, I used to make so many of those cootie catchers and paper cranes. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Do you mean the little, the little games that you uh, that you play with a piece of paper? I think that's so cute. Paper cranes, guys. I think that's a that's a good night's work. I really freaking dig it. I really dig it. Actually, now let me just this finger. I want to bring it in a little bit more to fit the rest of this. Little, this hand that I've created. And then I think we're going to move on to cake. Cake. I, I don't think I like the green idea. That didn't work as much as I like. I wanted it to. Oh, damn. Give that a much more defining edge. Yeah. Oh, frick. We forgot to do the thumb now. I wanted to do that. I do, I do want to do that really quick, actually. I feel like it would be incomplete. Oh my god, that was a lot. Um, it was deeper than I thought it would be. guys calling this one a night i'm i dig it i dig it <laughs> carrying this around the airport looks sick thanks so much william i dig i dig all right let's move on shall we okay so
Okay. <laughs> Look at this little masterpiece. Oh my gosh, it's a cute one. So we're still not, I mean, even, even this side looks still unfinished. We gotta, we gotta make sure to, uh, make sure the cake looks, looks as scrumptious as it needs to be. But, um, but I've been basically decorating it with all of these little chocolate pieces that I've made recently. This is a black forest cake and I need to do the top. I think there's a, there's a little bit too much sparseness in here. I'm going to probably fill it in with, with more chocolate paint, but for right now, let's, uh, let's start adding, adding some more chocolate pieces, shall we? Delish. I'm just going to put a ton of this crap all over the place. Make sure it's nice and iced. I love it. I'd buy it. Great work. Thank you, Attica. Thank you, Daniela. Oh my God, you guys are the best. But tell me, what, what was the coolest thing that you've made? Okay. Oh yeah. Etika says, okay, that was the answer to that question. You used to make cootie catchers. Wait, am I, am I correct in knowing what a cootie catcher is? Um, those games that you would play? Um, what is a cootie catcher? I think I'm unfamiliar. But I want to hear some of your greatest creations as of late. So basically what I've been doing here, I kind of, see this, this was a whole experiment. I wasn't quite sure how to make these little chocolate pieces. Um, and I feel like what I should have done is, uh, like literally made a whole big sheet of this paint the, the, this, the curvature does nothing. Like I was really thinking it would, I mean, it does, it does kind of lift a little bit, but I think it would have done that even if I didn't, <laughs> I didn't use these, these half bottles here. Totally the game with the numbers outside and like, uh, and like fortunes on the inside. That's right. I remember that. Oh my God. Nostalgia at its finest. Am I right? So basically this is easy. I, I can just drop these guys on here our own little chocolate pieces. But yeah, they should they should all be more like square. And I've been kind of uh, edging off some of them and then some of them I'm just leaving, you know, round and organic, organically shaped. But yeah, I've also been because I mean, when you have these these little chocolate pieces, somehow it's like they I, I don't know they just they just cut them or I, I guess they are curls. Um, has anybody made real chocolate curls? I cannot say that I have. I am fabricating what I think that they would look like out of paint and how they would work. But yeah, if I were to do this again, one big sheet of chocolate and just cut it all the frick up. That's what we're doing next time. Some of them land upside down. This is for one of my, um, my collectors. The store has a couple collectors and I am always so happy to make things for this customer. 
She is a baker in Texas and she makes the most scrumptious. I've been meaning to ask her if she likes ships her baked goods because I would totally buy some and indulge in them. I don't, I don't even know. Like she makes so many different kinds of things and I'm making something very unique for her next. She asked me if I have ever made a parquet breast and I'm like, I've never heard of that before. And basically it's a, it's a pastry ring covered in um, powdered sugar, almond and filled with cream. Does that sound delicious or what? And she does, she makes all of these French pastries. Um, ones again that I've never heard of. And I should just, I should just like order a sampler platter or something. I'd pay for that. It would, that'd be a nice birthday present. Oh, this one's kind of square, yay. Some of them I have been curling too, especially if they're ugly. <laughs> I just curl them so that I don't have to see them. Let's, let's do a little curl here. Yeah, this one's pretty ugly. So my paint is really sticky and all I need to do is curl it in on itself and it, we are good to go. See the, this piece is sticking to it. Okay. The nails does the nails do make it harder. What kind of paint is it? Um Chocolate shavings, that's right. Chocolate shavings, chocolate curls. This is uh this is t-shirt paint or 3D paint, tulip. Oh, there we go. Look at that nice little curl there. Very flexible, which means it's very uh, rubbery and loves sticking to itself. It's actually a huge problem. <laughs> Especially when I I, I I have before sold to like say uh well, like a, a selfie museum. I sold, I sold like dozens of donuts as props. And what I basically had to do, and I hope that this continued to work is spray them all down with dry shampoo so that they, they would have something to hold on to and not each other. There'd be a, a little bit of a buffer. How do I how do I wear these outfits and, and not get paint on them? I sometimes it's, it amazes even me. All my clothes are paint clothes, all of them, and they all have evidence of such. Oops. Etika, do you know how chocolate shavings are made? Do you like? I mean, I I must have seen it on British Bake Off before. How am I missing it? Like, do you, you, I think you would like paint, paint chocolate onto like a piece of, um, acetate, right? And then how does it curl? How are you curling it? I don't know. Legit using like a peeler and shaving chocolate curls like a ribbon. Oh my gosh. That is, that is intense. I, I gotta do that one day. We are faking it till we make it with these guys. Okay, that one wasn't especially good, but it's passable. Oh no, do I have, I was gonna say, I, I was afraid I didn't have enough dark chocolate, but I think we've got equal amounts of both. I can't believe that I made almost like the perfect amount of chocolate shavings for the sides and the top.
Is this going to be one of your wearables or is it decor? Um, oh, it looks exactly like it made. Oh, that's good to know. You use a veggie peeler and peel a bar of chocolate. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. That is so cool. I had no idea. Oh my gosh. Wow. I, I, I'm going to do that for fun now. I have chocolate bars downstairs. We got we to gotta figure this out. So this is going to be wearable. We've got the little, we've got the indent for the head. The, uh, the cake isn't even done. What we have to do is create some, uh, here, I'll show you. I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you've seen it before. But I need to create a little bit more. Even this one is a little bit flat, but you want to make it look like it's been baked. Yum, 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 yum. It's missing a little nuance here. And I don't know what I don't know what Susan's doing with this. Like I don't know what she is uh, if there's an event coming up, but she's she's been ordering some stuff for me. She's also getting some biscotti. Okay. Delicious. And this cherry is going to have so much goo. Oh, yes. I'm getting high in the sunrise with you. I'm getting through all the bad times with you. I wasn't missing a thing I was doing. All right. And I wish that I could do it as a machine. I think that thank that is great headwear. I know. Thank you so much. I think my goal for 20 uh 20 2023 is to stop freaking out so much about stuff. I put a lot of stress on myself. And uh, as much as that's healthy, I am so ready to just chill the fuck out. As if I haven't been trying. But um I feel like everything turns out the way it should. I know that that's just coming out of nowhere, but I've, I've just been thinking about what I want from this year. <sighs> Trying to control things you can't control. I'm just gonna sit here and I'm just gonna make my little chocolates. Does anybody, did, did anybody set any goals for the new year? Did anybody have any resolutions? Does anybody like to do any kind of ceremony or sacrament as the new year rolls around? Because we are coming to the end of January all freaking ready. And I didn't set a new year's resolution. Is there something you want more out of your future, out of this new year? Maybe not something that you do, but something that you want from the universe. I feel so often I'm, I'm telling myself things that I don't want myself to do, things that I'm restricting myself to do, but... What if I make the world work for me? 
Just put it out into the universe, see what comes back, right? Etika says, we did a new year intention setting with a candle and some herbs. Oh, yeah, that's what you, you and Jen did. That's really great. I feel like that, that starts the year off right. Pretty, pretty stock songs. Like I bought this at Hot Topic. <laughs> Guys, thanks for coming along on the journey with me. Um, we did, we, you know, painted some cake and a laptop, a computer case. And I, I honestly really love them both. Tell me what you like more in the, um, in the chat. And thank you as always uh, for being here with me, for being uh, my friends, my audience, my collaborators. Collaborators, honestly, like... Almost every time I come, every, yes, every time that I come on, on screen here, you guys are adding to the art by adding your suggestions. And uh, Ed gave me her, her beautiful hand that I hope that I, I did justice. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, end this with Daniela's uh, thoughts. Um, I don't set any resolutions or I, I know I won't do anything. New Year's is the only day of the year I get super hammered and receive... <laughs> a year uh, a tad inebriated uh that's nice um but but you try to eat healthier that is ah, oh, that is all we can ask for that's all we can do uh my hand has never looked better oh my gosh you honestly i hope i did it justice um always a blast to go jess paul for the night thank you guys thank you for everybody who's been here even for a little while if, if you were only here before then you're not hearing me now but i appreciate you you're wonderful and uh Peace, love, rock and roll. Have a good night, guys.